Today, a 10 on your side follow up to a story we first told you about on Wavy.com on Saturday. Firefighters in Newport News say dangerously high carbon monoxide levels likely killed a man and sent a woman to the hospital. It happened on Christian Street around 12:30 Saturday afternoon. Our Lex Gray is there now. Lex, the fire chief told you that these types of calls are much more common as it gets colder. Yes, exactly, Stephanie and Anita, and they are also very preventable. The fire chief here in Newport News walked me through what happened in this case and how you can prevent the same thing from happening in your home. It's kind of nerve-wracking. It's scary for your children, for everybody. Wendy Reed lives just down the street from this trailer home where firefighters found a man dead Saturday. Really weird of how fast it can take your life. Battalion Chief Steven Pincus tells me a woman dialed 911 from inside the home and told dispatchers about symptoms that sounded like a stroke. But when firefighters got here, their portable carbon monoxide detector told them something different. In this particular case, it alarmed almost immediately upon entering into the home. This little detector is now attached to all Newport News first responder bags, and in this case, it may have kept firefighters safe too. It showed them carbon monoxide levels in the home were more than 20 times what's considered safe. It's, it's dangerous for us to even walk in there, so they put on their self-contained breathing apparatus and went in to search the house. That's where they found 55-year-old Stephen Alexander Harris dead. In the meantime, paramedics treated the woman on the scene for carbon monoxide exposure using this machine and rushed her to the hospital. Pincus says she's lucky to be alive, and the man's death is a tragic reminder for people to install carbon monoxide detectors and get their heating systems checked before winter. Never thought about it until you see it happen because there's nothing to play with. There's no joke. It's dealing with people's lives. Pinka says a propane heater likely malfunctioned, and that's what caused these very high carbon monoxide levels. He also said, unfortunately, it's the type that shouldn't have even been used inside, and that's why it's important for people to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Live in Newport News, I'm Lex Gray, 10 on your side. Thank you, Lex. And according to the CDC, more than 400 people die every year in this country from unintentional carbon monoxide poisoning. More than 20,000 end up in the emergency room, and more than 4,000 are hospitalized. And the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are often described as flu-like and may include headache, dizziness, weakness, upset stomach, vomiting, chest pain, and confusion. Everyone is at risk for CO poisoning, but infants, the elderly, and people with chronic heart disease or breathing problems are even more likely to get sick.